<laughs> I want to stop here and bring up our very first presenter, who is John Patton from Laser Augmented Diamond Drilling. John, I'm going to get you powered up here. Is this you? That's you. Do you want, if you want that, there you go. Now, are you ready, Laura? Yes, yes. Laura has the timer for you. Five so you'll know when six, it's time. You six. You have six. Six minutes to present whenever you are ready. Okay. Good morning and welcome, and thank you, Sandra, for inviting me here today. Um, so I'm going to talk about some new technology uh, that we developed right next door at the engineering campus of uh, Western Michigan University. Um, and just the premise is to tell you that the technology we're talking about is an accessory for a machine. So think about adding a GPS component to your car or something like this. So you have the car, you want to add the GPS. We have a, a drilling machine perhaps, and we want to add lab, lab technology uh, to that. So the problem in the, or the pain that drilling precision holes and ceramics and composites from the ceramics matrix composites is very challenging. Uh, they're hard, brittle materials. There's a lot of issues associated with that. And LAD, our technology, resolves these uh, issues by combining a diamond drill, which is the hardest known material of mankind, so it's harder than anything that you want to put a hole in, and also a laser that is used to uh, heat and soften material in a con um, hybrid configuration. So the pain that the uh, manufacturing companies experience when trying to produce holes in these materials is they have high tool wear, they're wearing out the tools, meaning they have to change them off and shut down machines, surface and subsurface and part uh, damages from the machining operation, they get cracks in the material, and for composites they have delamination that they have to repair and fix. So the uh, solution or our value uh, proposition is LAD produces these precision, uh, precision holes in the hardest and most brittle materials with relative ease. So down at the bottom is uh, uh, for the lay uh, people in the uh, population or in the audience today that LAD renders the hardest, most brittle material soft, conductile, and pliable. In my analogy, it's like turning ice, a relatively hard, brittle substance, um, or frozen butter, to a warm, soft um, material, in case of butter, soft butter, while still maintaining the solid shape. So we do not melt the material, we just heat it and uh, soften it. And with this solution uh, comes reduced tool wear, and their diamond tools are in, uh, instant, so increased tool life is important. Diamonds are expensive. Uh, we reduce the damage to the workpiece, we improve the finish, we increase the material removal rate, which means we can do the process faster. And because it's faster, it reduces the uh, cost of the operation. So this is kind of what it looks like. Uh, so we have a, a drill here, and we're going to put a hole in this material here. The drill is uh, rotating, and the laser is passed through the diamond drill and heats the material below the drill, which is the material being removed to produce the, the hole. So that's, in essence, what happens. This is a schematic of what the whole system would look like. Here would be the laser. That would be this part up here. We have some optics here. We have a special spindle. The laser has to go through the spindle of the machine, so it has to be hollow and precision in our case, and then the tool, the diamond tool that's down here. Here's more of an engineering uh, uh, design. This is the unit we actually built. The key here was actually the spindle, this black box here. We can buy the, the lasers, we can purchase the optics, we can purchase the diamond tool, but this device was not commercially readily available, so we designed it manufacture that and has my P with it. Um, so here's just a, a setup. You might have seen these machines as a closing drill press uh, made right here in Kalamazoo, Michigan. And then here is our device, the lag device attached to the drill press, press. So you can see it's an accessory. We take the standard drill press, put our device on it, and then go away and making precision holes in these hard drill materials. The team, uh, currently there are two of us. Uh, myself and uh, my, oops, my PhD uh, candidate, Hossein, um, he's also co-inventor, co he and I are inventors of the technology. We've had a long list of 
other team members over the years. We started back in 2014, so we're in our fifth year now. What we have done today, for historical purposes, we formalized the idea in 2014. Uh, we obtained some initial funding that runs, ran out last month, actually. Uh, we filed for the patent, and it was published in 2017. We started Lab to Company in 2016. Here's just a summary of where we are on the funding uh, stream. So today, uh, about 245,000 there, a little 250,000. We did not get our SBIR award that Sandra Hout helped us with, but so we'll continue there. So what we need from the community, you folks, is we're seeking an industrial customer for uh, testing of the uh, test bed and, and prototyping, hopefully somebody we can collaborate with going forward, and partly to be here is just a networking opportunity with you all. Get the word out, if you have this company, it's a spinoff from WMU, and uh, we're going forward. With that, I don't know that we have time for more questions or anything, but I'll just throw up some applications here. Awesome, thank you, John.